Now, it is easy to get caught up in the high-flying tricks, tosses, and tricks that I do on this channel. But every now and then, it's about time to step outside, smell the roses, and get back to basics. Because in reality, basics is the cornerstone to all martial arts, all advanced moves. Your basics is what makes you good, what makes everything look good at the end of the day. So let's break down three basic kicks so that you can work on making sure your basics are absolutely top notch. Now there's tons and tons of kicks out there, so picking just your basic three can be kind of hard. But most kicks are variations of one of these three kicks. Front kick, round kick, and side kick. For example, a hook kick is just a round kick in reverse. And a back kick is just a front kick going behind you. Now that's a very loose definition and doesn't apply to all kicks like axe kicks and things like that, but it's good enough for this video. So let's go over our front kick, our side kick and our round kick. What's up guys, Seal Ninja wearing Aviators and Subaru hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja. Starting off with our front kick, specifically our pushing front kick. This kick is designed to push someone away from you uh, if they're getting too close, it's great for that. And so as pushing kicks go, you're gonna use the bottom of your foot and your heel for this kick. Starting in your guard stance, obviously you have your, your uh, different types of guards. You can pick whichever guard you want and you're gonna take your back leg, your back leg and lift it up nice and high. Notice my knee is bent and the bottom of my foot is facing the front. Then you're going to use your hips and explode that leg outward as you push with the bottom of your foot. Your hips will come up and out as it bang pushes. The reason you want to use your hips is because that's where your power is generated. If you're just throwing your leg, you only have the muscles in your leg. But if you use your entire body weight, that can do damage to someone that outweighs you because you're able to put a lot more power than your average person. And when you put it all together, it looks something like this. Now we're going on to our roundhouse kick. Our roundhouse kick is a great attacking kick that can either break the ribs, the side of the knee, or the head, depending on how high you can get your kick up. And yes, if you do it right, you can absolutely break someone's face with a round kick. It's just hard. Anyone that tells you you can't kick the head doesn't know how to kick the head, because you absolutely can. And if you're good enough, and if you practice, <laughs> yeah, it can be a very, very devastating blow. Now our impact target for our round kick is gonna be the top of the foot or the shin. So that's gonna be what you're gonna be hitting your target with. The chamber or the beginning part of our kick is very similar to our front kick. It's lifting that knee up. Instead of pointing our toes up like this, it's actually gonna be pointed down. We want to point our toes as far down as we can. That way we don't impact with our toes and break them. Because breaking your toes sucks, don't do it. Now, once we have our knee up, just like so, you're gonna to wanna to turn it sideways. Now, if you notice, when I turn it sideways, my bottom foot also rotates. It will help your hip open up and allow you to kick a lot higher and a lot faster when you rotate that bottom foot. When you do this, just focus on pointing your heel at your target. You wanna rotate on the ball of your foot, turning your heel, not rotating on your heel, turning your toes, if that makes sense. Now that we have our rotation, you can put it all together, lift, rotate, keep that leg horizontal and pointing your knee at where you wanna kick. If I wanna kick over here, I point my knee that way. If I wanna kick over here, point my knee that way. Where you point your knee is where you will kick. Now all together, that looks like point and kick. Now the pull back variation of this kick is what helps you to learn your technique and control. If you wanna learn and focus on power, don't pull back your technique, swing through. That just means you continue all the way around. This is the great way to get a ton of power into your kick. A kick like that is what the Muay Thai practitioners use to break bats in half. And so being able to rotate and power through something can do immense damage to the human body. Now I just wanna say, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you're new, um, because a like would really like be appreciative. If you like these back to basic videos, uh, get this video to like, I don't know, 
50 likes and I'll do a whole series about them. I'll do hands, I'll do knees, I'll do a bunch of other things. So I'll do different weapons. So if that's interested to you, interesting to you, uh, just, you know, comment, like, and let me know. Your sidekick is designed to stop someone from running into you. It's excellent for uh, stopping someone and honestly just folding someone over because for me at least, a sidekick is my most powerful kick. Well, a sidekick variation is my most powerful sidekick, but that's besides the point. It's neither here nor there. So for a sidekick, it starts again, very similar to our front kick, picking our knee up like so. Just this time also like our front kick, having our toes pulled up. Now, the difference is the move after that. We're actually gonna rotate just like a round kick, but while keeping our foot the same place. So when your back leg comes up, right, you rotate just like a round kick, except you keep your leg in place in relation to your chest, right? So it just stays in that rotation, uh, in that rotated position. Really hope I'm making sense. So yeah, let me know if you need any like further details in the comments. So again, we lift and we turn. Now we're gonna aim, pointing the bottom of our foot towards whatever target we are hitting. And then it's just a straight push, pushing with your heel to extend your kick. Going this way, lift, rotate, and push with your heel. Lift, rotate, and push with your heel. Pushing with the heel is key because if your toes are extended or your uh, your ankle is floppy, you will break your toes. And like I said before, breaking your toes sucks. Don't do it. And then when you combine all those moves together, our technique looks like that. Now for all of these kicks, there's a couple of different targets that you can practice hitting when you're doing drills. Those targets being a low target, a middle target, and a high target. The low target is gonna be our knee. Knees are some of the best targets to hit, in my opinion, because no one can chase you in a self-defense situation if they don't have knees that work. So hitting the knee is always a good option. The second target is the middle target, which is your ribs. Hitting the ribs, easy to break and very painful. I don't know who's broken a rib before, you can let me know in the comments, but breaking a rib is not fun. So hitting there, great target. And lastly, you have your head. Now you could have the whole head if you want, or you can have the hinge of the jaw. If you hit the hinge of the jaw, it'll force rotation, it can break the jaw, and it can cause a knockout fairly easily if you are uh, on point with your targeting. I always like to think if you practice with a very, very small target in mind, when you're in a combat situation, you're not gonna hit the small target, but you'll hit the area well, if that makes sense. Because adrenaline throws everything off, uh, let me tell you. But that's all I have for today, guys. So if you like this video, let me know and help a brother out by, you know, doing all the YouTube stuff. And until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. If you like this video, check out this other one that YouTube thinks you'll like, or this one about how to throw a correct punch. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one.